y'all welcome back to my channel so winter is hitting the bay area hard and it's cold and it's chilly but honestly i think winter is one of the most romantic seasons it also has very natural pretty colors like lilac you know the pale pink you get in your cheeks when you're out too long i was very inspired by my friend annie she has a blog called aspiring daisy and i'll link that down below but she posted a beautiful picture of lilac um, makeup and she called it lilac winter and I thought it was just incredible I thought it was the essence of winter so if you want to see how to get this look please stay tuned so my face gets really dry in the winter time that's why I'm using Josie Moran's pure argan oil and a couple of drops will just do I just rub my hands together and then pat it all over my face to keep it moisturized for foundation I'm using the Laneige BB cushion cream and I'm using it in light and I just Pat it all over my face in a very thin layer. It has great coverage, so that's all you need. As for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and Light. And I just put it in the very inner corners of my eyes and then blend out. For further concealing, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage in SC3. And I just pinpoint conceal off my hyperpigmentation and acne scars that are really, really stubborn and will not go away. And then I just use my finger afterwards to blend it out. And as for a highlighter, I'm using my favorite, the Body Shop Radiant Highlighter. I'm just going to put that on the highest points of my cheeks and blend it out. And I'm also going to put that in the corners of my eyes to brighten up that area and also as you'll see on my nose bridge to give more definition to my face and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Alright so we're going to move on to eyes now. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion as always and I'm just going to rub that baby in. And now I'm using the e.l.f. eyeshadow duo. I got this in like a holiday set a long time ago, so I don't know the name. But I'm using the light purple color. I want to call it lilac, but I've said lilac like a ton of times already in this video. So I'm just going to take that color and put it all over my lids as a wash. And I'm going to move into the Lorac Unzipped palette. And I'm using Unconditional, which is like a mauve matte shade. And I'm going to put that in my socket line as a transition color. After that, I'm going to take Uncensored from the same palette and I'm just going to put this on the outer corners of my eyes to give it a little bit more depth. But because this is like a rose-hued palette, it doesn't take away from the um, lilac too much or contrast it too much. But it still gives really pretty definition. And I'm just going to blend it out. And then I'm taking the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage again and I'm just going to put that on the outer corners because I get really red there and I don't want to mix that up with the eyeshadow or else it'll just look weird and muddy and irritated. And now I'm taking a smaller brush in the same color in Uncensored and I'm just going to line my lower lash line with that. I'm going to be taking NYX's Jumbo Pencil and Yogurt and I'm going to line my inner under lash line and the corner of my eyes to bring in more lights because this is a very romantic look so you want to look like your eyes are glowing and I'm going to set that with undercover from the Lorac Unzipped Palette. I'm going to line my eyes with the Body Shop's 2-in-1 Smoky Gel Liner in Brown just because I find brown to be a more subtle, soft, and romantic color than black. And I'm going to tight line with it, go a little bit above my lash line, and then kind of flick it out in a like kind of a wing, but not really, just following the natural eye shape. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> okay, for some reason, I skipped mascara and moved on to brows first. Logic? I don't know where it is, but I'm using Etude's House um, Drawing Brow Pencil in O2 Gray Brown and I'm just filling in my brows following the natural shape and then I'm going to take a spoolie and go through the tips to make it a little bit more natural. Now we're going to go back to mascara and I'm using Urban Decay's Big Fatty and I'm just going to coat my lashes with this starting from the root wiggling up to the top. And don't forget the bottom lashes and that would be the eye look done. 
After this, I'm going to move on to my favorite part of the look, which is blush. I'm using e.l.f. Studio HD Blush and Headliner, and it's just a really pretty pale pink. That kind of reflects the color you get in your cheeks when you're out in the cold for too long. Like, your cheeks are chilbin, if that's a real term. But it's really pretty, and it's really soft and romantic. I'm going to finish off the look with NYX's Candy Button Bonbons for lipstick and it's just going to match the cheek color and pull the whole look together. And I'm going to blend out the edges with my finger so that it's a little bit more soft and that's the entire look done. Alright, if you liked it, please subscribe, hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!